this is Ken Kaplan from Kaplan Cycles on site at the New England Motorcycle Museum. We just finished the mechanical restoration of this 1981 GS750ES. Took us a couple of months. Uh, the service tickets added up to 32 hours labor. Went right through the whole bike. Um, it's got brand new shocks on it, four into one exhaust. I'll go over all the details with you in a minute, but um, first I'd like to do a little riding demo. I'd like to take it down to the street and do a drive-by. Um, you wanna do a drive-by? Yeah, we can do that. All right. You've got to hear this thing, it's super, super smooth. Um, it's been tuned by the best in the business. Fire dried up, runs like a bear. Get down there. Go transmission, clutch, suspension, everything's on point, as good as this, uh, the bike was, it's as good as the point it ran in. Um, the technician that worked on this, Mark Olson, is a uh, seasoned veteran, he knows how to tune bikes. These carbs, the carbs on the bike were rebuilt. Sometimes you see the ads on the Craigslist, carbs clean, well there's a big difference between carbs clean and carbs rebuilt. These have been uh, tuned to perfection. Synchronized, you know, all the internal components were cleaned or, or, or rebuilt or replaced. So uh, there's an extensive work order. I'll go over with you, with you in a minute. Um, we put over a thousand dollars of parts into the bike and uh, 32 hours labor. The um, bike has a brand new Salomon seat cover on it. It has a, a Pro Sport 4 in 1 exhaust system on it. Brand new uh, four individual air cleaners on the bike. Um, brake system's been rebuilt, brand new pair of shocks on it. Uh, I'm going to read off the work order because I know I'll leave stuff out if I forget. Uh, this is a, um, the title, 1981 Suzuki GS750E. These bikes were uh, notorious for being super reliable. It has all original paint on it, uh, brand new fairing that we just put on, on it. It has the super bike bars, uh, new mirrors, brand new fairing. We actually installed the fairing. I was going to do a West Cooley replica on this. I even went as far as to order the West Cooley graphics, the blue and white. But we got into the bike so deep financially that uh, at this point I thought we would lose our shirt if we did a full paint job on it too. But for about uh, somewhere between a, a $1,100 and $1,400, I was going to do a full West Cooley graphic uh, and uh, take the badges off and put the Suzuki logo on, do a blue and white. But in any event, we decided that the original paint was good enough. and. Uh, there's something to be said for the bike having original paint. It's actually antique, uh, as judged by the Antique Motorcycle Club of America. 82 is the cutoff date, 35 years old. This bike is 36 years old. So, um, in any event, let me read the work order off. Please bear with me. There's a lot that we did to the bike, so um, it's going to take me a minute to go through it all. Uh, when we got the bike, we did the initial inspection and evaluation, drain the old fuel, um, the gas tank had been cleaned and uh, Creamed, so that it has a liner on the inside of the gas tank. It's all excellent condition. Um, it has a brand new petcock on it. Uh, we drained the 
drain all the, the, the fuel out of it and started with a clean slate, installed it a new battery, uh, tested the cylinder compression, has 150 PSI across the board with good spark. So we removed the spark plugs, uh, tested the ignition coils, the primary and sec secondary resistance was, was good, tested the plug cap resistance, that was a little bit off, so we put four brand new spark plug caps on it, as you can see, and four brand new spark plugs. We changed the engine oil and filter. Uh, then we took the, um, drained the old fuel, inspected the tank, uh, and the petcock. Uh, the tank has been creamed, and it's in excellent condition. Um, we replaced, put a brand new petcock assembly on it, replaced the, the tank overflow hose, filled it with fresh fuel, and tested the petcock operations. So the whole gas tank has been completely conditioned right down to the petcock and brand new fuel lines. Then we got into the carburetors. The carburetors were removed and completely dismantled. And I wish I had taken a picture of it when it was apart, because there's got to be a hundred different parts that were on Mark's bench. They completely dismantled the carburetors right down to the last piece. Uh, completely disassembled them, separated the bank of four carbs, and did complete cleaning and adjustment and rebuild of the carbs. Replaced the fuel pipe O-rings in between the carbs, replaced the gaskets and the O-rings and the fuel line with a new inline fuel filter and new vent hoses. We inspected the rubber car car carb holders and clamps were in perfect condition and installed four new clamp-on air filters and a DinoJet Stage 3 kit. So this this kit, you get a lot more fuel into the bike and it's a perfect match with the open. You can't just open up the air box and put a four in one exhaust on without doing a dyno jet kit. This has a stage three dyno jet kit and it was tuned to perfection. That's what I was talking about. When you, when you talk about, you see uh, carbs clean on Craigslist, they usually remove, <laughs> they'll remove the float bowls and blow it out a little bit and get it to run. Not what we, this is a complete dismantling of the carburetor, separating off four banks, putting a dyno jet kit into it, and then Finally, when it's assembled and tuned, tuned doing a uh, synchronization of all four carburetors. So that's a huge difference in cleaning the carbs, and it takes a lot of time. Um, I'll bet of the 32 hours, it's probably a solid eight to 10 hours in the carburetors alone. So and it was done the right way by a, by a pro. Uh, then the, the throttle housing was disassembled to clean the throttle pipe um, and uh, uh, band and the handlebar, pressure lube, pressure lube throttle cable and, it, and reinstalled it and adjusted the free plate. We also rerouted the, the, the cable to work properly with the Superbike low bars that are on it. Um, a full warm engine carburetor synchronization was performed and the idle and mixture adjustment was adjusted. Um, so basically the entire fuel system has been completely not only customized with an open air box and stage or open individual air filters to the stage three kit but tuned to perfection and completely rebuilt. That's a big job, okay? Uh, it has a four into one Pro Sport exhaust, brand new fuel, brand new spark plugs, all electrical components and connections have been gone through. Uh, we also repaired the starter solenoid, uh, disassembled and cleaned the starter button, installed a new solenoid in it, and um, let me flip to the next page. Well, I'm on page two of the work order, please bear with me. Uh, the contact inside the right switch housings were cleaned, replaced the wire terminals and covers inside the head, the lamp, bu the lamp bucket, uh, inside the lamp bucket for the starter button to solenoid wire and we replaced the ground terminal at the solenoid and cleaned the ground contact to the frame. Replaced the terminal cover at the solenoid for the start button wire to trigger the solenoid. Uh, we replaced the positive cable lugs at the battery and the solenoid. Replaced the wire and the terminal connector to the fuse panel. Replaced the negative cable uh, at the battery and cleaned the frame ground contact. So new battery cables, all the wires in the tire bike have been gone through, all the connections have been cleaned. We removed and properly cleaned the fuse panel connections and we replaced the five glass fuses. There wasn't anything wrong with them, but we put brand new ones on to make sure that you know the, the contacts were perfect and cleaned the contacts while it was apart and then tested the resistance. So the electrical, the le Mark is not only a guru with carburetors, he's fantastic at electrical work. So if you're looking for a, a late 70s, early 80s, 750 Japanese super sport bike, this is the one to buy. It's been totally gone through. It needs nothing. It's ready to rock and roll. Um, the, uh, uh, we also uh, um, repaired and in installed correct OEM terminals and covers, routed the harness properly, and all the wires were uh, clean and properly, uh, correctly routed. Uh, has a brand new tail lamp bulb, brand new license plate bulb, brand new turn signal bulbs, and it has a custom set of carbon fiber style turn signals, which are a little sporier than the, the bulbous big stock ones. And then we confirmed preparation of all the lights, which I just, which I just demonstrated. Uh, we cleaned the clutch switch, the starter lockup clutch switch terminals, and connect, cr connected the wires correctly inside the headlamp bucket. We're, we also replaced the front brake light switch so that that works in addition to the rear brake light switch. 
We lubed the clutch cable and routed that forward perfectly with the Superbike bars again. Um, we replaced the valve cover breather hose, uh, adjusted the tire pressures, inspected the wheel bearings and the tires and rims, everything's okay. Clean lube and adjusted the drive chain and uh, removed the rear brake. We also rebuilt the brake system. We removed the rear brake calipers, rebuilt with new seals, bleed the brakes and adjust the rear brake lamp switch. Uh, it has a brand new pair of shock absorbers. Uh, when Mark Tess wrote it, he felt the stock shocks were worn out. It has a brand new set of custom shocks with the dual rake springs. You see, it's got two, spring, uh, two springs on it. One for the uh, initial, uh, initial, um, seems to be softer initially, and then the other one to be stiffer once you get going. Uh, so, brand new shocks, uh, a brand new settlement seat cover was installed by Mark, and um, he test rode the bike. So, then I went to the detail shop in Doc, we call him Doc, Brian Dockery, he's our number one detailer. He went through the whole bike, front to back, top to bottom, it was on a speck of dirt anywhere on this bike. Um, somewhere in the area of uh, six hours from the detailing it. Um, front to back, top to bottom, it's, it's immaculate. Uh, the brakes are fully rebuilt, um, all the fluids are new, brakes are flushed, pretty much um, brake system's as good as it was brand new. So let me go over the parts of this with you again. NGK spark plugs, four. NGK spark plug caps, four. Brand new top of the line Iwasa battery. A gallon of Maxim 2850 premium oil, um, top of the line oil. A brand new high flow oil filter with O-ring. Uh, 14 millimeter crush washer for the oil drain plug. Brand new re carb rebuild kit with all the jets, uh, along with the Dino Jet Stage 3 kit um, and all the gaskets and everything else. 52 millimeter tapered air filters, uh, custom chrome free flow canyon style air filters. 5 16 inch black rubber fuel lines, quarter inch black rubber vent lines, and 3 8 inch black rubber hoses. All the hoses are new on the motor. Uh, brand new KL caliper rebuild kit, brand new brake line crush washers, new Bellray dot 4 brake fluid, brand new uh, stapless, stepless ear clamps for the fuel lines, a 5 16 inch inline fuel filter, brand new 10 to 15 amp glass fuses, all new OEM terminals, terminals OEM covers for the battery terminals. Brand new 6 millimeter cable lug, eye left terminal, um, new front brake light switch, uh, new pet cop assembly, entire pet cop was replaced with a brand new one. Brand new a reproduction tack cable by Motion Pro, uh, so the tack cable is also brand new. Brand new 13 inch shock shock absorbers, uh, new start, new uh, replacement starter solenoid. Actually, it was a um, starter solenoid we had in stock off another bike. Uh, used part, but it was in perfect working order, so that was the starter solenoid was replaced. Uh, brand new 12 volt small bulb for the turn signals, brand new tail lamp bulbs, brand new single filament small bulbs, um, and a brand new seat cover. So, over a thousand dollars in parts, 32 hours labor. If you bought a bike to us and said, Hey, uh, we want to totally re recondition this bike um, on a time and materials basis, well, six weeks later. 32 hours labor and thousand dollars and in parts you'd have a four thousand dollar service bill. So when we get done with a bike like this, sometimes I wonder why do we do this? We put over four thousand dollars in parts and labor on this bike, plus plus the cost of the bike. So obviously it's a labor of love. We're not making any money doing this. Um, it keeps the techs busy and we resurrect vintage classic bikes that hopefully people will enjoy for another 30 years. So uh, it's part of it's a well it's definitely a labor of love uh, rescuing these bikes. But sometimes I question, is it really worth it for us? Because we usually end up selling them for a lot less than we have in them. So um, the reserve on this bike is going to be set below what just the service invoice came out to. So um, basically, if you buy the bike, you're paying for the service and the bike's free almost. So um, that's one way to look at it. Anyways, this bike is in awesome shape mechanically, cosmetically. It's in very good condition. This is an original 37-year-old paint job. It still has a nice shine on it. The tank is in beautiful condition. Uh, the inside's been reconditioned and creamed. The exterior is all original. It's been washed and waxed and buffed. It's super smooth and shiny. But there are some little nicks on it, and there's a little bit of patina on the um, on the uh, stripe, as you're going to see here. And there's one little ding on the top of the tank. Uh, again, I was going to do a West Cooley replica, but some people like them. Stop. You know, original. The original 750 double overhead cam. Uh, Badge is in excellent condition. Uh, the side panel is in good shape. The front fender looks like it was repainted at some point. I believe it's original fender. Uh, it's perfectly straight. Um, this is a brand new uh, quarter fairing that we installed on the bike. I thought it really added a lot to the look. 
um, square stock front headlight lamp. Check this out. I'm going to show you this. The gauges. The bike has 20, just about 20,000 miles, which is nothing for one of these four cylinders. Um, the uh, on the dash, there's a gear position indicator. When you put the bike in the gear, there's a digital uh, that'll show you what gear it's in, which is kind of cool. Um, and of course, a neutral light. All of the gauges work work perfectly, and. Um, Tachometer, speedometer, again, brand new tachometer cable. Uh, 20,865 miles. Um, I just took it for a four mile ride for a nice little spin. It's kind of cold out, it's December, so I couldn't go too far. I started getting cold, but uh, good thing I wore my long johns today. It's probably 30 degrees out. So if you have any questions about the bike that I haven't answered in the video or the pictures don't uh, cover, please call us 860-454-7024. We're here Monday through Friday. This would make a fantastic bike for a, a sport bike lover for Christmas, uh, or if you want to buy yourself a gift that keeps giving thousands of miles of fun, buy this bike. It, they are going up in value. Um, they've been fully depreciated. They started going up in value probably 10 years ago. So um, who knows where we'll end up in the scheme of things. But if you want a bike that's affordable, that's thoroughly sorted out, and a lot of fun to ride, buy this bike. The rear tire on it, um, it's got uh, a new rear tire on it that has, geez, I, I bet it's only got a couple hundred miles on it. Still got the nubs on the tire. Take a look at this, Kenny. I don't know if you can zoom in and show the nubs on the tire, but it's still, it's a 120-90-18. Um, and it's in like new condition, as is the front tire, uh, which is replaced at the same time. Uh, these are, uh, it's a 190-19 front tire. Hey, who's the front tire, Kenny? So that so that carry on it. So tires are brand new, brakes are brand new, the whole brake system has been gone through. Um, everything's been thoroughly sorted out. Is there anything I left out on this bike, Kenny? I think that's it, Ken. If you have any questions, give us a call. If you want to ship the bike, uh, the first 30 days of storage are free. Uh, you can leave it here for the winter, 50 bucks a month after that. If you want to ship it anywhere in the country, we use uh, 50 Mobile on the East Coast. Anywhere on the East Coast for about $425 tops to Florida. West Coast, you use haul bikes, so we can help you with that. Um, I'm going to take her off the center stem, which works quite nicely. It's got the side stand too, over here. Uh, we on the side stand. It's got everything. Matching numbers, original, classic GS750. Good luck bidding on it. God bless America.